good evening sir and matchmates uh, here we are team 12 with four members uh, dr ash roman nayak uh, tirumalesh and myself pratisha uh, now we are going to introduce our company to you all uh, our company name is vista grow private limited and the product we are going to launch is energy bars that is also in two different types of sessions next slide keep us ash next to yeah the topics we are uh, going to cover is our profile mission uh, strategies team management market research and uh, uh, ma business plan is also covered in the same ppt next one okay coming to our company uh, it is a well established one which was founded in 1901 by mr kailash kumar Uh, we have a market value of uh, 92.34 crores uh, till now, and we were into different verticals like uh, dairy, agrochemicals, processed foods, etc. And initially, we started with uh, plant protection chemicals, and then we took uh, then it took uh, really five years for us to stand as a brand in the market. Later on, we started different segments and penetrated more into the market. In this process, we gained a lot of consumer base and their trust. which is constant motivation for us and it's it's our main values for our company next slide uh coming to our uh, vision mission and strategies uh, our main vision is uh, to expand our wings and cater the needs of people in various sector without limiting ourselves to a single sector and our mission is uh, actually uh, actually uh, after entering into different sectors now we are going to step into bag nutritious foods so we thought of launching energy bars uh, uh, which is the idea of one of our employees uh, we thought it is as a good idea because uh, in today's uh, busy world many people are skipping their meals and as a replacement for that they are going for many fast foods so uh, which are taken on a regular basis will be unhealthy uh, yeah, we thought of this uh, process and uh, uh, we thought of providing consumers with national uh, nutritional and uh, balanced meal uh, that is that's why we are going to launch energy bars uh, our current mission is to produce and uh, market our new product successfully and make it available to everyone uh, coming to our strategies uh, in urban areas uh, as our company is a well established one uh, we are thinking of uh, uh, promoting our product using the consumer base and uh, brand name and uh, in rural areas and semi urban areas we are going uh, through campaigns uh, campaigns and uh, being connected with ngos etc like that next one uh, coming to our management team uh, uh, ceo myself uh, pratyusha and uh, um, the main decision maker of the country uh, of the company and next one is uh, tirumalesh chief marketing officer Uh, he uh, look uh, look over all the marketing and sales strategies of our company and uh, arsh uh, dr arsh he is a chief finance officer uh, he will uh, look after all the budget and uh, he fixes uh, he will monitor the financial health of our company and the next one is roman nayak uh, director of our product development as he done uh, graduation in food tech uh, he was responsible for the production of the production and design of the product we are going to launch today next will be continued by our teammates jab yeah, prithvi shah thank you timesh am audible Yes, yes, you are audible. Yes, yes, you are audible. Please, please continue. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Simlesh, and I am talking about market market research. Market research is conducted through Google Forms by questionnaire method. Uh, through market research, the key data we found that the sixty five percent sixty five percent of the people will usually skip the meals one to two times in a week. And out of those, majority of the demographics were students. well almost uh, 21 21% of the people skipped meals 3 to 5 times in a week instead of meals they are going for alternatives foods uh, 
it will uh, give advantage to our company to bring our new product energy bar then 45% of the people ready to spend uh, 50 to 100 rupees to alternatives to skipping meals it gives a clarity to set our uh, product price and 73% of the people are ready to pay 50 or less for healthy energy bars uh, and it uh, backs to our product to carry forward and 80% uh, of the people ready to consume energy bars as an alternative to the meals instead of uh, fast foods and only 20% of the people uh, said that they won't prefer to consume uh, energy bars. Next slide. The important takeaway uh, from the market research is for both the success of the product and the uh, for the success of the product, uh, it should be good in taste and nutritious uh, to get a maximum profit or income from the product. And uh, next one is the price. The price of the product should be 40 rupees in order to get a profit or survive in the market. And 55% people are consuming fast food as an alternative to meals. It is the opportunity to attract consumers uh, towards our product. And then the main targets we are looking is uh, students and uh, other young people uh, who are living in urban and sub, uh, suburban areas. And uh, another takeaway from research is lack of awareness. Uh, a lot of people still not aware about the energy bars and their importance in uh, our day to life. Next slide. Then advantage of the product uh, energy bar. Uh, it gives instant energy. It is the perhaps this is the one of the main reason people choose to have energy bars as it boosts uh, energy levels and help to perform better. And it has a long shelf life. Energy bars have longer shelf life compared to ordinary foodstuffs. And uh, as the majority of people aren't getting as much protein as they should be, um, to be because of the, their busy life uh, with uh, no time on hand to cook up uh, protein snacks, these people would prefer the ready-made and uh, compact energy bars. It takes a little space to carry and it is easy for them to consume also. And uh, the protein and uh, added carbohydrates in the bar can provide energy to get to you through your workout or training. They also provide the post-workout nutrition to your body requirements. Then it, it has an effective meal substitute because uh, in energy bars, uh, Energy, uh, energy bar can be a wise choice because it uh, because they offer a healthy dose like protein, fiber, and they are low in sugar and saturated fat. And energy bars are uh, taste and uh, as well as a more, it has a more nutrition value. Thank you. Next slide is continued by our match. Uh, so uh, we have uh, come up with marketing strategies uh, based on the. Uh, survey we had uh, put out. So our main thinking uh, behind this project product is that uh, our uh, brand is is already a well established brand brand in the FMCG market, and so it's a low risk, high reward for us. Uh, since this is the foray of our company into the health and nutrition sector, this is the first product of its kind. So I think that is the main uh, uh, aspect which we can concentrate on. So uh, what we will do is since this is the first of its uh, kind from our company in, in the health and nutrition factor, we can brand the whole product as a separate uh, uh, as a separate thing. We can give it its own website. We can uh, have its uh, like we are having its own uh, tagline, and also we are be, uh, uh, we are talk, in talks with uh, various uh, you know well known personalities to endorse the brand. Uh, another is. Um, uh, through our survey, it's seen that almost 62% of the people who uh, have are who are consuming uh, energy bars are from the urban areas. So, uh, and plus, out of these, the majority are students who skip their meals several times a day. So, our main target group is those students in uh, urban or semi-urban areas. And so, the uh, significant way which we can reach them is through mainstream media, through the internet, through TV ads, through billboards, etc. Uh, another way of uh, reaching to the urban community is through e-commerce e uh, promotions. 
uh, with uh, like with the help of websites such as Amazon, Flipkart, which will not only help in sales but also the promotion of the product. Apart from all this, uh, the although 62% are from the urban areas, 28% of them are from rural. So we need to uh, concentrate on on them as well. And uh, it's seen that from our survey, we have seen that uh, out of these 28%, almost 90% of the rural population uh, don't consume or not, are, are not aware of energy bars. So the one thing we can uh, increase in rural areas is the awareness campaigns about er energy bars and it's not uh, and the perception that it's not just the, uh, the it's a, it's a, uh, it can be used as an alternate to meals and not simply just as a snack or a uh, stomach fill. So another scheme which we came up with is midday meal inclusion. Uh, Tie-ups is NGOs and companies like Akshay Patra, which uh, provides midday meals to school children. I think uh, this can be a well, uh, you know, very key marketing tool for us because uh, it will help us reach, uh, it will help create an image that our uh, product is not only healthy and nutritious, but it is also uh, quite uh, children friendly or quite tasty. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so this is the production and product specialty. So uh, uh, this is the product. Uh, the, on the right side, you can see the flow chart of the uh, basically the whole preparation of the product, uh, the unit operations involved in it. I won't go too deeply into this because it will take a long time. Yes. So uh, yeah. So basically, uh, we have come up with uh, till now in our arsenal, we have two products. One is the Vista Insta Power and a Vista Pro Power. So uh, the Vista power is 10 into protein. So basically there you have, we have used soya as the protein source and we have used this 10 times as much as in the Insta bar. Whereas in the Insta bar, we have gone with a high energy sources like uh, multigrain flour. Uh, that is our main, uh, uh, that is our main focus here. Uh, so uh, the only difference between the two is obviously the protein source and uh, also uh, we have, from the survey uh, we have seen that people prefer a cheaper product. So in order to lessen the uh, degree of uh, uh, you know mm, uh, money spent on this, we have used sugar, uh, jaggery instead of uh, sugar and uh, this not only helps us increase the no, sorry, decrease the price, but also increase the quantity of the product itself. And uh, the next slides will be taken up by uh, Arsh. Sure. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Good, up, good, good evening, sir and batchmates. So here I'll talk about the financial. See, the financial uh, finance part is the very crucial about this uh, business plan. So let's uh, talk about that. Uh, so first is the fixed capital. Uh, so what, first part is a cost of land and building. So for this production unit, we are requiring 15 acre of land and the cost for 15 acre of land is like 4.5 crore rupees and the total cost of land and building will be like 7.5 crore rupees and the next part. Sorry, it's lagging. Yes. So the cost of machinery in production line is a part of fixed cost. And these are the machines are which are required for the production line. So the total cost of our production line machines are 1.72 crore rupees. And, and if we talk, we have talked about the fixed cost. Now we will talk about the working capital. So the in working capital, first part is salaries and wages. So we are, we have different types of different departments under our unit. So based on that, uh, the total cost of salaries and wages is 3.714 crore rupees per annum. And the second part of a variable cost is the cost of raw materials. So these are the raw materials which are required for the production of our energy bars. And based on the quantity required, the amount is calculated and the total cost of raw material for one annum per, per annum is 2.0335 crore rupees. 
uh, third part of variable cost is like extra cost which comprises of internet charges electricity cost uh, cost advertisement transportation and other miscellaneous part and it comprises 39 lakh 75000 rupees the next part of finance is like depreciation so here i am calculating the depreciation on the building at the rate of 5% per annum and depreciation on the machines at the rate of 10% per annum so the total cost of depreciation per annum will be 54 lakh 70000 and uh, when we talk about the total revenue so like as previously mentioned we have two products first is insta power and another one is pro power so we are targeting to sell 40 lakhs units units of insta power at the price of 15 rupees so the total revenue generated generated is rupees 6 crore and the 20 lakhs units of pro power bar at the price of 15 rupees will generate 3 crore rupees so our total revenue will be 9 crore rupees so now come to the financial analysis as we have seen the finance part so the total fixed capital that is the a plus b like uh, the cost of building and the cost of uh, uh, machines for the production line the total cost fi total fixed capital is 9.22 crore rupees and uh, the total working capital which comprising the uh, salaries and wages raw material and extra cost so it is rupees uh, 6 6.145 crore rupees and the total investment that is the fixed and working capital is 15.15 crore 36 lakh 50000 rupees and the cost of production per year is uh, 6.692 crore rupees and as we have seen that our total turnover per year will be 9 crore rupees so if we calculate the profit it is like 2.308 crore rupees and after the deduction of tax Uh, net profit will be 1.737 crore rupees and the net profit ratio will be 19.23 percent and the, as per our the investment uh, payback period will be 5 years and 4 months within this time period our investment will be over, like we can incur our investment and uh, the final part is break even point so that is the total cost divided by sales price per unit minus cost price per unit so it is a uh, 2.39 uh, crore rupees crore yes yes uh, now we come to the fi 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 last part that is the swot analysis so if i talk about the strength as we have previously mentioned that we are well established com company and we have well established consumer base also and our brand recognition is like in a good condition and as we have like previously well established uh, company so financial source will be easy and r and d is also like uh, ready to use so next is the weakness so as we have, my group mate mentioned that uh, at present there is not enough awareness of the product and the poor uh, ability is there so our marketing team will focus on this weaknesses and make it to uh, convert in a opportunity and if i talk about the current opportunity uh, at present there is a high demand for low fat low sugar and healthy snacks and uh, also as per our survey people are willing to spend more money on the healthier foods and uh, based on our uh, busy schedule of people and like fast life uh, it will be a consider as a opportunity to our business if i say about the threats so the competition from the other companies which are in the market that can be considered as a threat and another is the self made protein like uh, many people pre would prefer to have consume a protein shake or any other alternatives which is self made so that thing can be considered as a threat okay yes, sir. sir thank you Great sir good job thank you thank you sir for listening dr dadanya pratyusha tirumalai syndrome great job